we have to find the area of the shaded region. Let's start out by finding the length of this side. Notice that this shape is a rectangle with an area of 42 centimeters squared, and this side of the rectangle has a length of 7 centimeters. So, we can divide 42 by 7 to get 6. Therefore, this side has a length of 6 centimeters. 6 times 7 is 42. Because this shape is also a rectangle, this side of the rectangle must also be 6 centimeters. Now, let's find the length of this side. In this other rectangle, we know that the area is 30 centimeters squared, and this side of the rectangle has a length of 6 centimeters. So, we can divide 30 by 6 to get 5, which means that this side of the rectangle has a length of 5 centimeters. 5 times 6 is 30. Because this shape is also a rectangle, this side of it must also have a length of 5 centimeters. Because this shaded region is a rectangle, and we know the length of this side, which is 6 centimeters, and the length of this other side, which is 5 centimeters, we can multiply them to find the area of the shaded region. 6 centimeters times 5 centimeters is just 30 centimeters squared. So, 30 centimeters squared must be the area of the shaded region. 